Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great Saturday and a great weekend. And for us, at least here in the States, it's a three-day weekend. And if your kids are going to school, you might actually get a four-day week weekend week. Hello. So how's everybody doing? What is everybody else up to? Oops, I forgot to put on my thimble. I had to put some hand lotion on because, you know, my hands felt like I'd been out digging concrete, as my mother would say. Yeah, it was just bad. This is week five. Nope, I'm sorry. Staying corrected. Week six of European Town. Worked on this a little bit this week. Nothing too terribly spectacular there. But uh, I did finish a couple more colors. I'm trying to fill in all this. Right now, I'm. that's like my... Uh, we'll just start it. We're going to get rid of that. Because, you know, this is kind of driving me crazy and I can't do it during my live. Because, you know, it's a plus sign upon plus sign and then there's some stars in there. It's spectacular here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not real fond of the plus sign. You know, I mean, for cross stitch, diamond painting, it's just very hard to see. Well, I hope you're having fun, and maybe you're taking an extra long vacation. There, okay, this, I try this every time, right? And it just does not work. It's just too heavy. An extra long weekend, just to kind of get out of town for a while and do something different. I don't know. I've been in since, what was it, Thursday? Yeah. I went out Thursday. I want you to know, I'm embarrassed. I finally got all of the packages out, except for the one that goes to Australia. I I will check on that again uh, this next week and see if I can ship to Australia. The lady didn't know right offhand you know, whether or not I could ship it, but I am just embarrassed that it has taken this long. So, yeah, everything is out. So, if you want anything, then it's not working today. You know, on my sh channel, it's out. It's been shipped. But I've had money problems and bills that were bigger than they should have been. It's just been... A nightmare since right after Christmas yeah so here we are <sighs> and I am so sorry I do apologize profusely so it'll be a while till Christmas again so hopefully there won't be any more problems in the future we'll just have to to wait and see Molly's over there digging herself a hole with her blanket. We go through this every day. Just every day. It gets in a knot because she won't jump up on the couch because she's so short. When she goes to jump, I guess it's like a, not an illusion, but it looks like it's too high for her to jump, so she won't. So I grab the blanket and shove it in a knot out of her way. So she jumps up. And, yeah. But I'm not over there to move the blanket. But now she's up there. And the, the blanket's in a knot still, evidently. And she's trying to get it unknotted. So that uh, she can get comfortable. I'm telling you, that dog, some days, drives me over the edge. 
<sighs> Make you want to trade her in for a goldfish. No, I can't keep goldfish alive. I don't know what it is about goldfish. You know, when I was little, you know, we had several goldfish that seemed like they lasted years. You know, it was just one in a bowl. No big deal. You get multiple and life goes to pieces in a hurry. So I just stopped buying fish. I don't want any hamsters or mice or anything like that. So, yeah. Life is grand. Yesterday I got real festive and cleaned off my desk. That only took like an hour and a half. Got to have a drink of coffee. So I was quite busy. Now today I got to go take the trash out. Now yesterday they pick up the trash. So I try not to take the trash out on Fridays. Because, you know, usually I have a fairly good bag. Well, I gained another bag after I cleaned off my desk. I just threw away stuff that was useless. Like, I'm saving every green boat and pen and wax set. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. I have my own boats, and I saved all the wax. And, yeah, and just went on. You know, after a while, you... Why are you saving? It's like the drills. I've finally decided I don't need to save the drills. I'm going to pull you this way just a bit. And then we're going to whoops, pull you in a bit. Hopefully this will help. I don't want to get too close. It, it's not the best camera or phone camera, if you will. But, hey, it works. So... So, yeah, I just, I'm not saving any drills. I, I'm just done. Because you get to saving this crap, and then you have it four years later, and it's like, why? I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. For me, it's just insane to save it. Because I never get back to it, use it. It doesn't happen. Don't need it. So, we're just trying to reduce the clutter. So, the big exciting part of the day is going to be today is taking out the trash and cleaning off the stove because, oh God, I made spaghetti. I don't know what happened. Okay, that is just not working. I made spaghetti the other night and I never realized how messy spaghetti was. I have that stuff all over the stove, so it needs a deep clean. Yeah, spaghetti everywhere. Sauce, that is. Of course, I added, uh, what do you call it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying. Uh, zucchini and mushrooms and Italian tomatoes, like canned Italian tomatoes. Used to love, what was it? Stewed tomatoes. Oh my gosh, I love stewed tomatoes. I just absolutely love it. And that's about... The, I I just like tomatoes, but I don't love tomatoes. But those stewed tomatoes, oh my gosh, they're so good. And now they're, they have tomatoes in a can that are seasoned Italian-ish. <laughs> if there's a word... Oh my goodness. So I just buy it that way. You know, I don't have to put too much in it. But man, I must have used the wrong pan to put that spaghetti together because I had it everywhere. Like, holy cow. So, yeah, I got to clean up that mess. But I just got hungry for spaghetti. I'll probably end up putting the rest of it into the the freezer, which is all right, because I can only take it a couple of days. 
I bought some eggplant to fry up. I really like eggplant. It's just yummy. You know, when I was a kid, it was like, ooh, that's no. Don't want that. Mm -mm. But I don't know. When I got older, it was like, wow, I just love this. So, yeah. I fix eggplant a lot. And since I ate so late yesterday, I had a big bowl of spinach for dinner. Don't ask. I, it sounded really, really good. So. Oh, itch. Oh, where did it go? But yeah, it was amazing what I found on this desk when I cleaned it off. But it's all nice and neat and organized for at least a week. I did find that uh, bigger diamond painting boat that I told you I had. See, there's the one I have. You can fit it right into it. But this one's a lot wider. Oh, it works beautifully. So, it's not going anywhere. It's now on my desk. It's nice when you find stuff you can actually use. You know, of course I have a knot. So, yeah, I have my live today, but other than that, I'm just not going to get carried away. I kitted up that blue diamond, diamond painting that I got last week. It's about 25 by 25. It's a little itty-bitty thing. I finished the bird. Yay, bird's done. I'll show that to you on my floss tube, but yeah, trying to figure out which way to go. I may need two whole threads just for this area, but I wanted to get this done. And I worked on this uh, a couple of days and trying to get the top done that's what that tan material or thread was for was for crap hang on was for this half triangle here so I just got that the orange and that green so I put in some more greens down here so So I've been a little busy. It's just about all I've done. Nothing too terribly, terribly exciting. And I don't know if I'll get this video up before or after my live. So, we'll see. But that's about all I've been working on. Just kind of took a break from stitching, except for, you know, working on this for a couple of days. Just, I don't know. I'm ready for it to be spring. I know that much. Man, it is so hard to see where the the squares are on this with that plus symbol there. Just, I want it done. Then I won't have to think about it. I've been avoiding it. Are you getting really far on yours? 
hope somebody's making some progress here. Ava, she works on hers all the time. That's stitching with the inner lake, Ava. But I just can't seem to focus, but I think we'll have a better week coming up. Oops. See, there's a line there. You got a line, a star, and a plus. Oh my goodness. We're getting there. Why do they put alike symbols so close together? I have no idea. I'd like to know how to run that computer so that I could fix that on all these pre-stamped. It's insane. So what are you working on? You working on anything exciting? Oh, we didn't go out to lunch. Yeah. Well, I hope you're working on something exciting and maybe even springy. Or maybe you're working on this. That's okay. We'll have a stitch along anyway. kind of like to start those sunflowers that I got this last week but we'll just carry on with this I'm trying to see it guys I'm trying to see it But we don't need to start anything else. Oh yeah, that was another thing I found, was about four pictures that belong into cross-stitch kits. So those are sitting aside so that when I find that project, I can put them in it. I don't know how they get separated, I just set it aside, I guess, and yeah. Oh, well. Sure is a pretty color green. I have no idea what color it is. It's like way far down on the, the scale. It's kind of a mint. Well, it's more of a pale grass green because it's got more yellow in it than anything it's not like seafoam green Come on. You know that has to happen, right? Oh, come on. Really? Okay, well, we'll do it that way. If it's too tucked in there, I just cut the two threads apart and just keep going. Because I know it's not going to come unraveled. Yeah, we were supposed to go out to lunch, but my daughter sent my granddaughter to, uh, what do you call it? Boys and Girls Club. Yesterday, and then she keeps one of them at home. And then Monday, my granddaughter will be at home. And my grandson will go. Oh, I had some interest. Speaking of grandsons and granddaughters, yeah. 
Well, I found some exciting news out. I'm going to be a great... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be a great grandmother. Because my granddaughter is going to have a baby. Yeah, next week. Yeah, she just informed her parents, which is my son and his wife, that, uh, yeah, they're going to be grandpa and grandma. <laughs> because this is not fair. I don't even have gray hair. So I'm like, well, join the club. I just got 12 more. <laughs> so, yeah, bizarre and odd. Well, she was... Um, I think she was about three when my uh, son and my daughter-in-law got together. So, she's ahead of the pack. And then the next granddaughter is going to be 15, maybe? Oh, man, I can't remember. Two, she was born the year of Katrina. The... What do you call it? Hurricane? So, what was that? 2005? So maybe she's going to be 15 years old? 16? Maybe she's going to be 16. I don't know. Yeah, I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, tell me she is not going to have a baby. Yeah. Nope. It's her sister. So. Yeah, so that was a little bit of excitement this week. I asked my son if he had told his father. He goes, yeah, we were doing something else, and I don't think he's had time to process it yet. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, Lord. Because, see, his, his dad lives in the same town where they live so yeah it'll hit them we're all getting ancient now we're having great grandkids I'm too young for this I usually say I'm too old for this well hmm that doesn't even work anymore but yeah it's kind of exciting but she lives in uh, Missouri so I don't know if she'll if and when She'll come home. So, yay. Seems like just yesterday I was having my kids, but let's not live through that again, because that was enough. Yep. I kind of like being grandma. It has all kinds of perks. Including, oh, well, grandma needs to go home and take a nap. Yeah, I love that part so much. Yeah, you'd think I was 90. No. Hey, I've been off Thursday, Friday, and today. And so far, I haven't taken a nap in an afternoon any of those days. So, we're trying to make it through three. If I can make it for four, you know, we must be doing something right. Yippee! And no, I'm not making this baby a quilt. I just can't deal. I might get a baby blanket, but I don't know. Grandma doesn't have the hands and the wrists she used to have back in the day. I mean, it wouldn't take me but about three days to make baby blanket at the most. I'm not knitting it, though. I'd have to crochet it. Okay, so here's the stars. We finally made it to the stars. Why they put stars in there? I can't tell if it's... Hmm. Well, maybe that's up there. 
I don't know, it just looks odd. I do like that pink. It's so pretty. That bubblegum pink. I don't know what it is about lately about pink. I don't know. I keep getting attracted to pink. It's going to be a boy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine that whole conversation. <sighs> now Molly's over there snoring. I don't think you can hear it from here. Had to fill up the dang bird feeder again. Well, one day it fell off. Because I have it on top of the air conditioner for right now, you know, until I get to air conditioner seasoning. Season, not seasoning. Yeah, it dumped off, so I lost about mm, a cup of the, because it's one of those that should hang. But with all the wind that we get, I was afraid it would just shatter, and especially in the winter. So I set it on top of the air conditioner and has it, Held down by three or four rocks on the back side of it. So I don't know how it... It must have been pretty dang windy for it to blow off of there. So I had to fill that up. But they, I just filled it up maybe less than a week before it fell off. Because they had just gone through... I got some seed instead of getting the... Uh, soot? Soot? I can't say that word. Soot cakes? Suit. You know what I mean. The, the suet cakes. And I'll put those back up. You know, when it gets to be spring. But I have to get to Walmart as well. So, yeah. Hey, we're filling it in here. So, yeah, I had to fill that up again. Seems like whenever there's going to be a storm, they're, they're out there eating. So, and it was going to be a storm, but we got like an inch and a half. I don't know. It's been quite bizarre this year. We haven't gotten over... Mm, four inches of snow this year at all. And usually, oh, we get two or three, you know, maybe more. It depends on the year. Bad storms where we'll get six to eight inches or whatever. But, yeah, so there wasn't too much to scrape off the car on Thursday when I went to town. And I went twice. <sighs> yeah. It was special. And I told you about my granddaughter's cheerleading episode. That was so cute. They're so little. But she had fun. They were just up there screaming and cheering. That was funny. <sighs> so, yeah, not much exciting things going on here. Of course, some weeks are busier than others. Daughter gets to go to the doctor on, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Thursday, she told me. I, I can't remember. 
So, yay. I'm going to go from there. They don't cancel. Jeez Louise. She's about out of her mind being at home. Come here, thread. Goodness. Hey, but at least we're making some progress, right? I almost got the front of, the, or that one, that turret that probably sticks out of the front of the house done. I just got two more colors in there in that window, and I'll have that window done. So maybe I'll stitch on this today. I left it out so that I could stitch on it. It's alright every once in a while. I just don't want to stitch on it full time. See, there's those stupid stars. I don't even know if you can even see those. Yeah, they got some of those like... Choo -choo. Yeah, this is a piece of work. Some days... I like all the greens mixed together there. You know, it gives it really nice shading. But I've been stuck in these trees for a long time here, it seems like. So I'd kind of like to do something else. Get this area done. Oh, for pity's sake. I love when that happens. Come on. Seriously? There we go. Gets a little kink in its get along. What can I say? Okay, let's try this again. Let's try not to sew the back, though, to the... Oh, that used to piss my mother off so bad when I was learning how to do cross-stitch and I was working on those stamped... You know, they were stamped on pillowcases and dresser scarves and what's the other thing? Oh, maybe they had quilt blocks or whatever, but it was on, it kind of looked like sheet material, like sheets you'd put on the beds. Oh, yeah, I'd get that back sewn in there just ever so tight. And I knew how to do knots back then. Boy, I could get that sucker. She'd have to cut it apart. It was sad. But true. Cut it. I'd cut a hole right in it. And it'd end up in a knot somewhere. That's how I learned to cross stitch. I didn't have the luxury of Ada back then. That's all I ever cross stitched on. And I can't even remember when I got my first piece of Ada. You know, or even a kit that had eight in it. You know what I mean? It's been a hot moment. But yeah, that other material, I really liked embroidering on it. I mean, it was great for that. but And it makes such big X's, you know. But it's all we had in the day. Because those things were kind of cheap. I mean, they were you just buy whatever you were going to get because it had come separate. And then you had to figure out what colors, you know. Some of them did have a so-called pattern. You know, you could follow colors. But that seemed like it was mostly... Uh, the embroidery ones. Or you could just make up your own. You know, you just get the pillowcases. You'd buy a couple of them. And they were just for standard size uh, pillows. You know, for the bed. 
And then I'd just, you know, if I needed a green or purple or blue or whatever, I just did my own thing. Back then I was in yellow, yellow and purple. Did a lot in yellow and purple. <coughs> oh, man. The things we sp used to spend our time on, right? It kept us occupied. Seemed like that was always cheaper than doing macrame, so I never really got into doing much macrame back in the day. Because that jute was expensive. And it still is, I think. So I never learned how to do much of that. In fact, for school, we had a art project and we did macrame with just yarn but we used several strands of it you know to keep the cost down it was probably 50 cents a skein the stupid yarn was back then yeah that's why I was shocked when I went to buy yarn at, it was like five and six bucks I mean it, it Everything considered, I guess that's not too bad, but you start getting six or eight skeins for that, you know, you're invested then. Watched a little floss tube. Watched a little Netflix. Nothing really to write home about. I wasn't too carried away with. get up and clean something and then I'd have to sit down for a while and then I'd get up and clean something or do something. God, it took me almost an hour to get this desk cleaned off because I had to stand up and then I swept underneath it. Oh my goodness, it was just, it was an ordeal, but it's done. And probably you'll hear me about September going, I can't stand this desk. It's just a mess. Yeah, it don't take long for it to get to mess stage. Because there's no place to go with some of this stuff. But we'll try. Had a big old bunch of diamond painting drills and I had some round beads from when I did, see, I don't know what all that is right there. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. It's kind of run together for some reason. So yeah, I... I Unbelievable. Accumulation of crap. After a while, you just got to get rid of some of it. All right. Try to finish just that part. Come on, pull. At least we're making some kind of progress. There we go. Well, we got all that filled in. So 
now I gotta just kind of cipher through that to see what's what. Make sure I don't have any more of that. No, I don't. So. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be about it today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.